Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We're, we're coming live from Oregon Weight and Wellness and uh, wishing you a help, happy, well, uh, happy Monday. I've got a little bit more coffee here just to help me out, apparently. I need it. Good, Good job. Thank you. So, Rachel, how was your weekend? It was wonderful. Easter was amazing. I had my daughter home from college and her boyfriend and then my son and his girlfriend, my sister. We had an awesome dinner. Um, yard games like Can Jam and Cornhole. It was really fun. Awesome. Really fun. That's How about great. you? That's great. Yeah, we spent some really nice quality time with um, sister and brother-in-law that we haven't seen in a while. And, uh, and then we also spent time with a neighbor whose husband died recently. So um, yeah, got to spend some really nice time with them. But uh, yeah, had a great time. I yeah. want to, before I forget, I'm not going to look at him, but I'm going to introduce Daniel. He came by today and I asked him to be our special guest here on um, our What's for Dinner uh, Monday Live segment. Um, streaming live at you from Oregon Weight and Wellness, <laughs> and <laughs> I was, I want, I asked him, Daniel, wow, you are always, whenever I see you, you're always full of energy, and of course mm -hmm. he's young, that helps for sure. <laughs> but um, I was, I, I was interested in, um, you know, just seeing what a young guy uh, like this, uh, how he takes good care of his body. So mm -hmm. anyway, Daniel, take it away. How do you take good care of yourself? You know, I think for me it starts with, uh, it really starts with eating enough protein. And I'm a mm -hmm. six foot three, around 200 pound man. Um, according to Dr. Gilbert's wonderful uh, body scan tool, my daily caloric expenditure is around 25, 2600. Um, so that already gives me kind of a leg up to not gain weight. Um, but for me, if I, if I eat enough protein, mm -hmm. and what it really does is it helps make me fuller. Um, it helps make me choose better choices because it tends to be that, for me at least, the protein-rich foods that I eat are are more on the nutritionally dense side than the calorically dense side. Oh. So it helps me, you know, eat things that I think are good, um, things that fill me up and you know fulfill my protein needs because I, I do exercise a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, starting there it gives me a good base. Mm -hmm. you know? And then another thing that I do is. You know, I like to cook at home. Part of that's because I'm cheap. Um, <laughs> part of that's because I love food. I'm going to interrupt you right there. Did you hear what he said? Because he's cheap. He cooks at home because he's cheap. A lot of us think that cooking at home can be expensive. But actually, when we buy healthy food and cook it at home, it's so much less expensive than eating out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, sorry to interrupt. No, there's, there's, really, there's nothing with the satisfaction of making something good mm -hmm. and healthy at home and eating it. Yeah. And enjoying it, knowing that just because it's healthy doesn't mean it has to be bad. Right. Yeah, bad tasting, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Healthy food tastes good because mm -hmm. healthy food is nutrient dense and our tongue knows what it, you know, what our bodies need. And when it has all those minerals, vitamins, and and is at the peak at the at you know, you know, we have fresh foods and and not overly cooked foods, those kind of things. We it tastes good, and and that's our our tongue telling your brain this is nutrient dense food. Now tasting good is different than that going back and having to have more, 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 more um, overly hyper palatable food. Now uh, Daniel, you told me something about. Uh, chips earlier. Tell me what your theory is on chips. Yeah, so that is one of those foods that you know, like you said, hyper palatable. I, I eat a chip. If you give me a bag of chips, no matter the size, I'll eat it all in one sitting. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I do, knowing that, is I don't buy chips. You know, I don't ever mm -hmm. keep chips at home mm -hmm. because I know that you know, once those cheddar jalapeno Cheetos enter my house, they're gone. They're going <laughs> yeah. to stay in here. And they're gone. So what I do is I just don't buy them. Right. Um, so that helps me not overeat. You're saying that there are some foods that you, for yourself, individually, for you, you just abstain from. Now, that's not every food. I mean, you, you told me earlier, too, that you don't have good foods and bad foods. Say something more about that. Right. So, you know, I think that um, eating healthy is, is lifestyle. You know, it's not really a diet and a short-term goal. This is a lifetime thing. So, you know, if there's foods that are 
bad, but I really love like for example, I love ice cream. Um, I don't classify them as bad foods that right. I never eat. Yes. You know, if I want some ice cream, I'll have a bite of ice cream, you know. Yes. And it helps me not overindulge and it doesn't make it into this forbidden fruit that I can never have. Mm-hmm. And when I finally break it, I eat too much of it. And so, mm-hmm. you know, there's a balance between never buying chips, you know, if I'm right. on vacation, yeah. fishing a long time, you go buy some chips. Um, but if if I'm at home and I have ice cream, you know, having it having a bite or two when I want it and not making it into this forbidden thing yeah. helps me not to eat an entire pint at night. Right. Very good. Yeah, I like that. It's balance. You mentioned those words, balance and not overly res- you didn't say restriction, but that in my mind that came to mind. You're not overly restricting. So then you won't have that fear of overly indulging. Right. So yeah, that's that's great, Daniel. And then you make now I know little birdie told me that you make kimchi. That's right. Can you <laughs> well first of all, um tell us, you know, the healthy what 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 is kimchi and why is it so healthy? So kimchi is a, is a fermented cabbage. It's traditional Korean food. Um, I actually made some the other day. And the, the process of it is it's a little more complicated than this, but basically you take a cabbage and you add salt to it, and then you add some sort of peppers and onions, and garlic and ginger, um, and you let it sit and it ferments. And you know, this is, this is more of your domain, Dr. Gilbert, but you know, it's good for you because it has lots of probiotics. You know, right. the bacteria that ferments it, the lactobacteria is very good for you. Um, there's a lot of nutrient dense things in there. I mean, there's cabbage, onions, garlic, ginger. ginger yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And awesome. so, I mean, Koreans eat it with everything. Yeah. Um, you know, I I don't eat it all the time, but even with ice cream. I'm sure you can find. <laughs> I'm sure my mom would eat it with ice cream. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So it has all those healthy bacteria that are great for your gut. Yeah. Awesome. Rachel, do you have any? Thoughts or questions for Daniel? Uh, no, I, I, gosh, I wasn't thinking of any questions. Well, I was thinking about the kimchi, and I would love right. to rest because um, probiotics are something that I think are very important for gut microbiome, like we were talking about. And there's there's a, a few different ways to get probiotics, but they're not in everything. You know, there's there's a right. handful of foods that we have to be um, specifically focused on. I don't eat mm-hmm. dairy. So I'm not going to be getting it from yogurt. So I focus on it from fermented foods like kombucha and kimchi. Um, but I'm not, I, I'm having a hard time finding a kimchi that I like. So I mm-hmm. was told I just need to start making my own. So I would right. like recipe. So I know like, you know, from someone who's tried and true, you've got it figured out. Um, yeah. So you send that to me, Daniel? <laughs> yeah, I'll have, I'll have Daniel write it down for us. Okay. Awesome. All right, we got a little late start today, and that was on me. Sorry about that. But um, it's time now, um, Rachel, for you to share what's for dinner. Yeah. So yesterday we did something a little not typical for Easter. We did uh, lasagna for yeah. Easter dinner. And the, the lasagna I make is um, it's a plant based lasagna that takes about three hours to make. It is so intense. But we make when we do it, we, we I usually invite friends over. We have a huge baking party and I make two or three giant um, cake pans of it. And so um, we're we I froze like an entire pan for the future. So we've got food mm, prep wow. ready to go. Um, and so that was dinner yesterday. But that'll be probably lunch and dinner today and probably lunch and dinner tomorrow <laughs> mm-hmm. we'll be out of it for several days, but it is delicious. So that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's wonderful. You? What's for dinner? All right. Well, Daniel, what do you have plans for yeah. dinner yet? Oh, you know, I, I don't, I think my plans for dinner are to go to Rachel's house. And tell her <laughs> that's true. I have plenty. That's awesome. <laughs> that, sounds great. Um, that sounds great. And, uh, Actually, this is my Monday to fast. So I am, I did have a nice lunch with, I had um, my bed of uh, broccoli and kale and cauliflower and uh, arugula. Mm -hmm. And then, and with some vinegar on that, because that's also fermented. Yes. And then I had, um, uh, with that, I had some pumpkin seeds. I did have some thinly sliced steak for my protein and that's grass finished and i also had an apple with some almond butter 
Yeah. And so, yeah, it, it was, um, it was absolutely delicious. And so, yeah. So today is my fasting day and we'll, we can talk more about that at another time. Yeah. But, do that. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys, if you are listening out there and you want to connect with us here at Oregon Weight and Wellness, you can find us uh, on Facebook page, Instagram, uh, where we have our own webpage, OregonWeightAndWellness.com, or give us a call, 971-273-7143. And until next time, have a healthy dinner. See you later. Bye, Daniel. Good to see you again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.